Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. This is T. Gray uh, coming at you live from Houston, Texas, and I'm excited to share with you today our training. Let's start with the replicated website. Let's start with that. Uh, and what we're going to talk about here is this amazing website that was built by our marketing team and our graphic design team. They did just such a phenomenal job uh, creating the most beautiful website in the industry and probably one of the most beautiful websites on the internet. I mean, I could see this being an award-winning website, but here's what's really cool about it. It's set up as a replicated website. So obviously the main company website, you can find it at iBoomerang.com, but did you know that you have your very own version of the corporate website, the replicated website? Yes, absolutely. Here's where you're going to find it. You're going to type your username dot iBoomerang.com at the top. So if you look at the top here, this, this is our demo account. It's called Demo User. And what we did is we've got demo user dot iBoomerang.com and that brings you here. So now what can you do with your replicated website? Well, this is the website that you should use when people ask you for more information about the company, what's the website, or they want to sign up in your business, you send them to your username.iboomerang.com. So it, let's just say, make up a name. Let's suppose your username is Superstar. If you're going to sign someone up or somebody wants more information, you're going to send them to superstar.iboomerang.com. Let's suppose your, name is, your username is Joe Smith. You're going to send people to joesmith.iboomerang.com. You guys get the idea yet? Okay, we'll do one more. Let's suppose your name is Sally Jones. You're going to send it to Sally. That's your username, not your first name, but you chose to use that for your iBoomerang business. Then you're going to send people to sallyjones.iboomerang.com. Hopefully you guys get that and you understand that. This website is exactly the same as the company website. What's really cool is anytime we update the company website, your site automatically gets updated as well. Now, you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner, there are two links. One says log in, and the other one says join now. What we're going to do first is let's cover join now. I'm going to click on that and show you what happens when someone goes to join your business. It automatically takes them into the enrollment process and starts them at standby. Why does it do that? Well, that's because everybody starts at standby. This is where everybody has to start, okay? So I want to make sure everybody's with me. If you guys are with me, I just want to see. I'm, I'm, I'm monitoring the Facebook chat here on my iPad over to the side. I want to make sure that I'm keeping track with everybody. Good. All right, so if you got it, fantastic. So here's what happens. They click Add to Cart, and now they have the opportunity to select their optional promotional enrollment pack. Now, for, some folks have asked, is it, do you get a credit for the $49.95 when you select your pack? No, they are two different things. You have your enrollment kit, and then you have your starter packs. They're two different things. So $49.95 plus one of these if the person chooses, because these are, as you see at the top, optional. So let's suppose this person chooses to go first class. And why would they go first class? Because it's the only way to fly. So they choose first class, and that adds to their pack. And now you get to the place where you fill in your information, and you look at the top here, and at the top where it says sponsor information, do you notice that it filled in your username already? So we, we did this on demo user, and look, demo user is at the top, okay? Demo user is at the top. Now the person can fill in their information, continue the process, and they will be joining your business. Isn't that the very coolest thing in the world? Here's what's going to happen when they sign up. They're going to get a welcome email, and you are going to get a congratulatory email letting you know that someone just joined your business and that you should contact them and welcome them to the family. So that's what happens with your replicated website. So somebody was asking, how do we sign people up? How do you sign people up, folks? You send them to your replicated website. Tell them to click join now in the upper right-hand corner. And then, uh, and, and what I like to tell people also is make sure that when you get to 
the sponsor information field that the per that your sponsor information is in there. And, and then they can proceed with confidence and everything works just fine. We've had so many people signing up this week, thousands and thousands of people signing up this week absolutely successfully. Okay, so now what do we want to show you? We want to show you how to get into your back office. That is the That concludes the training on the replicated website. Now we're going to talk about your back office. So how do you get there? Again, you can start at your username.iboomerang.com. So we're going to go back to demouser.iboomerang.com. Uh, so when, the, when your site comes up, you can click login from here. So let's do that. We're going to click login from the upper right-hand corner, and it's going to take us to myiboomerang.com. Now, I want you to know that there's two ways to get to your back office. You can click login from your replicated site, or you can go directly to myiboomerang.com. Now, what do you do next? Over here on the left side, <clears throat> you want to put in your username or your distributor ID and your password. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and plug in the information for demo user, and we're going to click sign in, and that's going to take us into the replicated, I'm sorry, the back office. Now, this is a very cool back office because it's quite simple, and, it, and as we add features to it, it just, it's just going to grow, but it's very, very, um, it's very cool in terms of how it allows you to build your business. What I want to do right now is I want to guide you through your back office. Now, I'll tell you what, this is one of the first times in my network marketing career that I've ever given someone a tour of the back office. Usually what I tell people is log in, click on everything, and see what it does, right? Just log in, click on everything, and see what it does. But what we want to do is make sure that everybody knows what's going on here. So let's start with the dashboard, which is where you land when you come in. Let's take a look at what we see on the site. Obviously, we have our iBoomerang logo up top. It is a hot link. It will take you back to the iBoomerang site. You have your iDecide link, your iGo link, your logout link, your uh, information link, okay? And we're going to go there in just a second. You have your dashboard, reports link, boomerang link, commissions link, and your tools link. You have your, in your dashboard, you have how many people you have enrolled personally that are at each of these levels. So here you see I haven't enrolled anybody, but if I did, uh, let's suppose I had five first class and two business class, one coach, and one standby. That's what these numbers would show. On the left side here is where we will have announcements, right? So right now we don't have any announcements, so it's, it's empty, but we will, you'll be seeing announcements popping up on this left side here. In the middle, you have your boomerang widget or your boomerang box that allows you to send out boomerangs. I'm not going to show that to you now because we're going to actually do a focused boomerang training in just a few minutes and show you how to send out boomerangs. And over on the right side, you have your upgrade box. So you can see that demo user is currently at coach class. And if demo user wanted to go to business class or first, all they would have to do is select one of these and click upgrade now. Isn't that cool? That's how simple that is. If you Now, if you're at first class already, the upgrade now link will disappear because there's no place for you to upgrade to okay because you're already at the highest level when you do first class now uh, what we also want to do here is I want to show you we're gonna before we go through these other tabs let's go to your information so when you click on your username in the upper right hand corner it will drop down it will show you your information your email address associated with the account and the opportunity to update your profile or change your password. So let's click on profile. And in profile, you'll see that what it does is it's going to show you your basic information. You can change your name, your first and last name, your username, your business name. You cannot change the email address associated with your account. If you want to do that, customer service needs to help you. 
and then you have your phone and your uh, your your phone numbers as well. Your credit card information, you can change and update that anytime that you want to, and your address information, you can change and update that anytime that you want to. So you want to always make sure that your information is up to date. Let's go to the reports tab. When you drop down reports, you can see your personally enrolled report and your customers. So let's to click on personally enrolled report. And what this is going to do is it's going to show you everybody that you have personally enrolled in the business. This is where you're going to see them. Now, we are about to launch an upgrade that will allow you to not only see your personal, the personally, personally enrolled people, also known as, also known as <laughs> tongue twister, personals, but you will also be able to drill down and see all the other people in your organization. So you'll be able to see your personals and you'll be able to see their personals and their personals and so on and so forth. Uh, and we'll even have an organization view. We can just kind of see everybody. So that should be, um, you know, our intent is to release that today. So unless we have some unsquashable bugs, you will be able to see that uh, today. And for those of you who are watching this as a video later on, uh, this should be live uh, in uh, at that time. You can also see your customers. So what's going to show up in the customer view are any customers who have accepted your boomerang invitation and who have actually activated their account. So you'll be able to see those people here on this particular view, the customer view. Okay. Now uh, in the boomerang view, you're going to be able to see all of the boomerangs that you sent out. Right. So this is where you're going to be able to see all the boomerangs that you have sent to people um, and whether they are, uh, you know, um, pending or used. Okay. So when you send out a boomerang, they'll show here, you'll see everything from the person you sent them to, the information, the code that they were given, the date you created it, the when that code expires, and we'll talk about expiration dates and all that in just a moment, and whether or not they actually used it. Right, and so that's this view is for your individual boomerangs, and then the next view will show you all of your group boomerangs because you have the ability to do that too. And we're going to talk about that when we actually get into the boomerang training part of this section. It's actually one of the coolest features in the world that you can generate a boomerang and send it to a group of people. So in the group boomerang view, you'll be able to see the campaign name, which is the name you made for that group, how many uses you assigned to that code, how many are still available, what the code was, and when it expires, okay? Um, the commission tab is a coming soon tab. Um, so once we actually uh, launch the e-wallet, this is where you will be able to manage your e-wallet and also manage your commissions. Uh, we're going to also have a commission widget on the dashboard to show you what your future earnings are. Uh, so that's going to be excellent. Um, the last thing that we're going to show you here in the current back office is tools. And so when you go to the tools tab, this is where you're going to find <clears throat> all the tools that will help you build your business, whether we have videos, documents, images, and presentations. Um, and we are in the process of uploading the most recent presentations. Right now, you'll see that the current iBoomerang uh, PowerPoint presentation is available here under presentations in a PDF format. When we finish this training, <clears throat> we're going to slice it up into a few different videos, and you'll be able to find them here in the video section as well. As we start to produce approved social media images, you'll be able to find them here under images, and you'll be able to find our company documents like our policies and procedures and stuff in the document section once we upload those. So folks, that is your, that's your back office. It's very simple, it's very cool, and it allows you to manage your business, see what's going on, see your people. You'll also be able to manage the revenue side of your business from here uh, and also manage the customer side of your business as well.